Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel where we create apps using Flutter. Now, continuing on from our last video, our social media app is coming along nicely. The user can post a message on the wall. So now let's allow the user to delete the post. So if you look at the wall post that we have here, we have the like button and also the comment button. So I want to have a delete button maybe on the top right corner. So this is a wall post right here. We're gonna have it on the top right corner. Cool, so if you come to our components, create a new file called delete button. And this button is going to be tappable. So I want to wrap it in a gesture detector. And you can see if you hover over this on tap, it requires this function here. So let's just grab that. Place it on the top. And we're going to require it every time we create this delete button. So we can just give it the on tap function. And now for the child, let's just have a simple icon. And I'm gonna go for maybe a cancel icon. And let's make it gray. Sweet, so if you come back to our wall post, if you come down to the UI, you can see that's our wall post here, this white section. And I wanna place my button on the corner here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap this entire column in a row. And this column, by the way, this is just the group of text. So you can see that's the message and the user email. And so on the side of that, I want the delete button. Now, if you think about it for the delete button, we only want to allow the user to delete their own posts, right? Then you don't want the user to delete other people's posts. So let's do a quick if statement here and say, if the user of this current wall post is the current user that's signed in, right? If we just compare the emails, then let's show a delete button. Okay, and this is the on tap method that I talked about earlier. So we have to fill out a method here, which we haven't created, but I'm just gonna call it delete post. And so let's scroll up to the top and create this method. Now, one thing is we just wanna make sure that we wanna confirm the fact that the user wants to delete it. Okay, so I'm gonna show a dialog box to ask for confirmation. So we're going to show a dialog, of course. And in this alert dialog, Let's just fill out for the title. Let's just show a little message saying delete post. And in the content, let's just ask a question. So are you sure you want to delete this post? Then let's give the user some actions. So two options here, let's have a cancel button and also a delete button. So let's just have a simple text button here. And if I press this button, then Let's execute. Now, if you cancel, I just wanna do nothing, right? I just wanna pop the dialog. So that's that. And for the child, let's just give it the text widget saying cancel. Awesome, so there's our delete button. Now I'm just gonna grab this text button and do the same thing for the delete. Now for the delete method, when you press it, Let's do a couple of things here. So first of all, I'm gonna make this an asynchronous function. So when it comes to Firebase, we need to actually delete the comments first. And then let's delete the wall post. So I was playing around with this earlier and if you just delete the post, then in your Firebase, you still have a bunch of comments uh, eating up your data. So when you delete the post, let's firstly delete the comments. So first of all, let's get the documents of the comments. So we're going to go to the Firestore. Now the collection is called user posts. And the document we wanna look at is this current post ID. So this current wall post. And in this wall post, let's go to the comments and we're gonna get these comments. Okay, so let's just do a quick for loop and delete all of these comments. Okay, so we're gonna basically grab the same thing. But you can see when you give it the doc ID, so we are at the individual comments now, and we can delete. So let me know if any of this doesn't make sense to you. I can help you out in the comments. Now, now that we've deleted all of the comments, we can finally just delete the post. So this will look similar. We're gonna go to the collection of user posts. 
Let's go to this current ID wall post and let's just simply delete. So we can just leave it at there, but it's a good idea to maybe see if there's any errors. Okay, so I'm going to say then if it's successful, let's just print post deleted. And maybe if there's an error, let's also catch the error. Cool, and then finally, once we did all that, we want to dismiss the dialog box. So let's just pop it. Sweet, so all of the functionality should be working now. But if you come back to the UI, I actually want this cancel button in the corner. So if you find the row, let's go to the main axis alignment and we're going to space between. Sweet, and you can see it pushed it to the end. Now it's not completely aligned to the corner. So if you go to the cross axis alignment, I want this to be at the start. So this will push it up. There you go. Awesome, this is looking good. So I'm just gonna restart just for good luck. And let's see if I can delete this post. Are you sure you wanna delete this post? Now it looks like the text buttons, the colors we can't really see. So we're gonna to have to fix that up. But let's say I hit delete and it looks like it just got deleted. Cool, so looks like the deleting function is working fine. Now let's fix up these text widgets, just the coloring. Now I think this has something to do with the last video where we worked on the dark mode. So something about the themes I think we should fix up. So good thing we have our code nicely organized. If you go to your theme folder, let's go to these two light themes and dark themes. And we can actually have an option here to specify for the text button theme. So for the style, I just want to say in this current light mode, let's say I want to make it black, right? So if I save this, let's just make sure it works. So I'm going to click on this and you can see, yep, there we go. We can now see the buttons. So same thing with the delete button. Now I'm going to toggle the appearance. Now, if I switch this to dark mode, you can see that in this case, I want the colors to be inverted. So let's grab this text button theme bring it to the dark mode, but let's change this to white. There you go. Cool, sweet, and that's it. So now we can delete, we can comment, we can post, like, and also we've done user profile. Now I'm thinking maybe in the next video, I'll clean up some bug fixes. Like I think there's a lot of, uh, if you play around with this app, there's some things that we can fix. So in the next video, I might do like a kind of go through and fix all these little bugs that we uh, didn't take care of. So that's for that video. Let me know if you have any other suggestions on what I should make and some more features I should add to this. I want to sort of finish this The Wall social media app and then I want to move on our next project being a messenger app, like a chat application. So let me know if that's something that you're interested in. But I hope you learned something. Let me know in the comments if you have any issues at all. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.